Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time, Immaculate Mary. Also known as the Lord's Hymn, Lord's as in the small town in southern France, Immaculate Mary was written in 1873 by Jean Gagnier, a French priest and seminary director. Originally, this song had eight verses, which he later expanded massively, and multiple different versions of this song currently exist. Of course, we'll be referring to the English translation of the song that's more popularly used at Mass today, and is contained in most missalettes. This version only has three verses. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. Singing the praises of someone does not refer to worship. When a musician sings a song about the good qualities of his girlfriend, He's praising her in song, but he's not worshipping her. The same is true here. We praise Mary for her good qualities, but we never give her worship, which is due to God alone. You reign now in heaven with Jesus, our King. The authority of Mary as Queen of Heaven is very real because that authority comes from her son, Jesus. In the same way that a Queen of Israel had authority because their son was the King, and if someone else's son became the King, the previous Queen lost all of her authority, the same is true of Mary. Her power, which is great, still depends on the power of God and is everlasting only because the power of God is everlasting. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. This is repeated after every verse of this song, and it just means Hail Mary. However, the fact that hail is repeated may be significant. In the Gospels, repetition of a word was sometimes used in place of emphasis, like in John 10:1. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim. The angels and the saints honor Mary in heaven because of her acceptance of God's plan for salvation, her sinlessness, and her honorable nature as the mother of Jesus, among other things. On earth we, your children, invoke your sweet name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Here on earth we use the name of Mary in prayers. We pray for our mother, the church upon earth. We speak of the Church as our mother for multiple reasons. First, because of the roles the Church is meant to have in our lives of teaching, nourishing, and guiding Christians. And secondly, because we're meant to inherit eternal life from Jesus, making us heirs, as St. Paul says in Romans 8.17. So the Church is the Bride of Christ, since many verses of the Bible refer to Jesus as the Bridegroom and Christians as Brides, including Matthew 25.1-13, Mark 2.19, and John 3.29. For this reason, the Catechism spells it out in paragraph 789, Christ as head of the body, and the church as bride of Christ. The way this is phrased could also be saying that the church on earth prays for Mary, but that's not what this means, because Mary is the queen of heaven, and those in heaven no longer need to be prayed for. And bless holy Mary, the land of our birth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We request Mary to bless our homeland, no matter where we happen to be or where we were born. Regardless of what country we may live in, blessings are something we all need. So this is a song to honor Mary, to recognize her high place in heaven, and to request her help with the concerns of earth, like those of the church and the nations we live in. Next time, what's the meaning of St. Patrick's prayer? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.